skin fungal infection. Now, there are different types of fungal infections and different approaches. I will speak about the commonest one, which is Cynia. All right, it is caused by dermatophyte, dermatophytes, I'm sorry. The clinical features of this infection include pruritus, scaling, erythema. It has a central healing and scaly borders. What we need to know is that it can actually infect hair, skin, and nails. So pretty much everywhere, right? <laughs> now, the risk factors are a moist and wet environment, like sweating on a hot summer, humid weather, under the armpits, the groins, feet. Other risk factor, diabetes mellitus. Also, immunocompromised people, like people with HIV, Poor circulation if the patient has arthrosclerosis or vasculitis. Now, the treatment of the infection is basically topical antifungal. It is indicated for all types except for tinea capitis, which is affecting the head and the scalp. This one needs a systemic therapy. A, a question, what else, who are the other patients that we prescribe systemic antifungal? We also prescribe it in case the topical treatment failed, in case the patient is immunocompromised, or in case it was extensive spread in multiple places. And also some cases of nail involvement might require systemic uh, therapy. The point that I want to emphasize is that examination and treatment of people who live together in the same house must be done. You see, you need to avoid close personal contact sharing personal, any potentially contaminated object, like let's say shoes or combs. They think they need to, you need to avoid uh, sharing them in order to prevent the uh, infection from spreading. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I hope you like this video and I hope that I helped you. Please, if you do, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to the comment section, put down anything you have for me and I will be happy to help. And guys, stay safe.